Hi, this is Betsy from Cut and Corners Vinyl in Nederland, Texas. We are working very hard for you to get our site up and going so you can place your orders online. But until then, we're still continuing with our tutorials. So, on Facebook, we set this up on Saturday, where if you like and shared our post and sent us your email address, you would be entered in to win this humongous box of scraps. But we have YouTube subscribers as well, so I figured I would open it up to you as well. So, if you already subscribed to our channel, you are already entered to win, but remember to go check it out on Facebook as well. And for you guys that are on Facebook that are new to our YouTube, if you go and subscribe to our channel, you will have two chances to win this box. This is 24.2 pounds, including the plastic tub, which you do not get to keep, worth of HTV and adhesive vinyl. There's prints, there's glitters, there's all types. There's huge pieces and little pieces. So there's plenty for you to have fun with and play with. Um, so as I said, go subscribe to our YouTube channel and also go like us on Facebook and share our post and you can have two chances to win. So for today's tutorial, I've been seeing all over the place on Facebook and Pinterest, this awesome little project to make perler bead earrings. Now, perler beads are the things that you remember from being a kid. The ones that you'd put on the little pegboards and you'd take with your home iron and iron over it to make dogs or cats or whatever character you wanted to make. So what you do is I went ahead and melted my discs down, but with your home oven, you turn it on 345 degrees and you'll cook them for about 45 minutes. You take on a cookie sheet, put a piece of parchment paper down and set them straight up and down like that. Once they've melted into your perfectly little round disc, you'll pop them off your parchment paper and you're ready for your next step. So, I went to Hobby Lobby. Those I ordered off of Amazon because our local Hobby Lobby did not have any. But, I went to Hobby Lobby and got the 8 millimeter nickel free earring findings. And it came with the backs as well. It's like $2.99, but they have them, um, you know, how Hobby Lobby does their sales, where every once in a while, everything's 50% off, pretty much. So, you take and put a little dab of E6000 on the back of it. And you take your disc and you place it over the top. and press hard and place it in the center of your disc. So, once it's dry, it looks something like this. So, they're cute on their own, but how do you jazz them up? So, those run about half an inch in diameter, as you can see right here on our ruler. So, you have to keep your vinyl design a little bit smaller than that. So I wanna pre head and pre-cut some shapes. So, and I'll show you the fastest way to weave these tiny little designs. So it comes off just like that. So, instead of using your normal transfer tape, I'm using scotch tape. So what I'm gonna do is I think on this pink, since it's Valentine's Day, I think I may add, let's go ahead and weed the gold. And see, I lost a star. I'm gonna put the gold hearts. So you take your scotch tape and you want to either stick it to your shirt or your jeans and get it where it's fuzzy so it's not so sticky. So we're gonna use that to mask over our heart and remove it. And I bought these as well at Hobby Lobby to store earrings on, so that way I'd have a surface to poke it through, so that way I could make sure my earrings were on before I decided to put the vinyl on. So, got that where I want it. And we're gonna go ahead and remove the scotch tape, and it looks cute just like that. But, another thing I saw on 
Facebook is people are using clear fingernail polish to seal it. Now, you can get a lot more detailed in your designs. These are simple. It depends on how much patience you have. So, this is just a clear top coat to go ahead and seal it, and it makes the whole thing nice and shiny. And you can run it all the way around the edge. See, I'm gonna grab it by the back, so that way you can apply a nice, smooth layer. There we go. And it's just that simple. You can make these multicolor by adding different layers of vinyl. You can monogram them. And they're absolutely adorable for moms, for kids, for whoever likes to have little jewelry. And you can make it for any holiday, any school team. So they're a fun, nice little project. And you can even do it with the kids. So I hope this was informative for you. Go ahead and, as a remember, go ahead and enter to win the nice big prize box. And we'll see you on Thursday for our new HTV tutorial. Y'all have a wonderful day. Thanks.